Turkey has come a long way in terms of climate action, even before ratifying the Paris Agreement in October. It is the first country in the region to generate more than 50% of its electricity from renewable sources of energy. That's roughly equivalent to the UK. And over 22% of that comes from wind power alone. Solar energy is also on the rise, having almost doubled its electricity contribution in the past three years. So what's behind the drive to diversify Turkey's energy resources? And what will it take for the nation to achieve a full transition to green energy? And to take a closer look at Turkey's climate action goals and challenges, I'm joined now from Istanbul by Yael Taranto. She is a senior energy analyst at the Shura Energy Transition Center. And in Izmir, Turkey, we have Sanjar Özan, an investment promotion support specialist at the Izmir Development Agency. A warm welcome to you both. Thank you very much for joining me on Straight Talk. So growth rate of renewables makes Turkey fifth biggest in Europe and 12th biggest worldwide. How significant is this, Yael? Um, this is, in fact, uh, quite significant. And in fact, Turkey has become one of the... Um, major uh, wind uh, generators uh, in Turkey and also wind equipment generators. Um, so yes, this is significant. This is also very significant for the decarbonization mm. uh, yeah. of energy generation in Turkey. So um, Sanjay, where does Tur Turkey's renewable energy sector stand when compared uh, to its competitors? Uh, in the renewable energy sector, Turkey uh, has experiencing accelerated uh, growth rate in uh, the last 10, year, 10, 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so about 20% of renewable energy uh, is produced in, in total in Turkey. So around 7th uh, in Europe and 13th in the world. Uh, this generation makes us uh, in wind energy sector because the wind energy sector is leading a renewable energy area in Turkey now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, how has Turkey's uh, renewable energy sector grown and contributed to this economy? And is that is that enough to reduce its depend dependency on fossil fuels? Um, yes. Um, over the past 20 years, uh, Turkey has actually uh, made uh, tremendous progress. Mm -hmm. in uh, renewable energy generation in its electricity sector. It has grown from 25% about 20 years ago, the share of renewable energy in power generation, to 42%. Um, so that's uh, a huge increase. Mm -hmm. And um, over the past few years, over the past five years or so, uh, nearly all the new generation uh, all the new investments uh, have been made uh, in uh, renewable energy for power generation. Mm -hmm. And yeah. another important point to stress here is that uh, the role of uh, non-hydro renewables have increased over the years. 20 years ago, the share of non-hydro renewables like solar, wind, biomass, geothermal was in close to zero. Yes. Uh, now yeah. it's uh, all the way up to 17% uh, of total electricity generation. Uh, the um, Turkey's uh, power generation uh, capacity has grown to 100,000 megawatts at the end of 2021. Yes. And about 11,000 uh, megawatts is uh, wind and um, 8,000 megawatts is solar. Uh, so that's a, that's a huge increase. So, uh, Sanjay, what's your take on that? And what should be done to expand these uh, sectors? Does Turkey need direct foreign investment for it? Or it's something Turkey could do on its own at the moment? Yeah, actually, uh, last, last 10 years, uh, Turkey attracts uh, lots of foreign direct investments, especially mm -hmm. in the production area. Because the important thing is about renewable energy is technology production. Uh, so uh, Turkey now hosts lots of uh, equipment manufacturers, especially in Izmir. There are lots of uh, wind, wind turbine equipment manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So lots of uh, foreign companies from Denmark, from Germany and US, uh, they came here, uh, they, they started production 
and they created a huge supply chain in the region. Mm -hmm. So now we are uh, we can produce almost 65 percent locally uh, these products. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, not only uh, for energy production but also for a uh, technology and equipment manufacturing business. This is what we are giving importance about this sector uh, because in the future, if you want to do more, uh, we need to have this technology and we need to uh, produce these equipments by uh, by own. So, but at this point, where does Turkey stand in terms of, as you've just mentioned, uh, manufacturing parts of, for example, wind uh, turbines, which uh, which are as big as planes, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, actually, uh, the, the equipment sizes are huge. Uh, the blades almost sizes around uh, an airplane, and the towers almost uh, as high as a Eiffel Tower, and the machinery parts uh, almost as big as an autobus. Uh, so uh, it needs a developed infrastructure, Logistic and port infrastructure is really important in that sector. Mm -hmm. So uh, in, in Turkey, especially in Aegean region and uh, especially in Izmir, we have these infrastructure to attract, to uh, produce and transfer these equipments. Okay, so um, yeah, what's your take on that? What are the main challenges before Turkey's renewable energy sector and how has COVID-19 impacted these sectors when it comes to logistics? Um, okay, let me talk first about uh, where we need to be going from here because um, as we uh, were discussing where Turkey has been in terms of uh, renewable energy, uh, I don't want to make it sound like uh, everything is uh, well and you know we're making enough progress. We need to be making more progress because we have already ratified the Paris Agreement mm -hmm. and we need to be uh -huh. decarbonizing. So uh, we need to, for example, uh, double the investment uh, we make in the energy sector uh, in order to be able to integrate uh, renewable energy into the system. Uh, we need to be uh, investing in new technologies uh, like uh, batteries, uh, like um, also in flexibility technologies for the grid so that we can uh, have more wind energy, which is variable in production. Yes, I, I, and, I think um, you're, you are talking about the European Union's plans to have carbon border adjustment system, which will come uh, effect soon. And uh, when it takes effect, I mean, how Turkey could adapt to this, these changes? Oh, uh, yes, that's also, that's also an important uh, issue. Uh, the uh, industrial sector has to uh, adjust to uh, the carbon border uh, adjustment mechanism, which uh, means that if you're going to uh, export to the European Union, mm -hmm. you need to report the carbon content uh, of your production, how much uh, um, em how much emissions uh, you're uh, causing as part of your production, and what you can what you're doing to counteract that? Are you paying carbon taxes, for example, or are you using more renewable energy in your production process? So, um, Sanjar, how far has Turkey come in terms of climate change, and is Turkey's goal to? achieve a zero uh, carbon by 2050 viable? Actually, uh, it can be reachable, but uh, generally the, the sector needs a stable and a forecastable, predictable mm. uh, targets uh, normally. Uh, tendering schedules and the policies need to be uh, predictable for the companies to uh, make them uh, invest because if they want to plan an investment, uh, they want to see further. Uh, so if you want to reach uh, these targets in 2050 or 2030, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. We, we, we need to have specific stable uh, targets uh, because we have the capacity, uh, we have the companies that uh, they can produce and make investments but they want to see their future if they have uh, enter a new tenders or they make they can make investment because uh, the connection and transmission investments also needed to reach these uh, targets 
uh, if the government uh, take these steps, yes. uh, probably we can reach, yes. So yeah, speaking of investments, isn't the future mm -hmm. clear already? And when do you think Turkey will become a regional hub uh, for this renewable energy? I think I would like to uh, stress first that uh, I agree with the previous comments on uh, visibility. Uh, Turkey needs to have um, a specific plan uh, for decarbonization to reach uh, the 2053 goal that it has set uh, to become a net zero country. So uh, the path needs to be made clear and also uh, um, sectors other than power generation also need to be included uh, here uh, in this path. Uh, in terms of Turkey becoming a regional hub for renewable energy, Turkey has a great deal of potential uh, here, uh, not just in wind equipment, but also in solar uh, equipment. So the future looks promising at least. Yael, Sanjara, unfortunately, yes. we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much uh, for joining Thank me on you. Straight Talk.